you may have to you may not be logged into zoom Oh, okay. oh, good point. I probably didn't do that because we haven't been recording. Um, so Molly, if you already did it the right way and you can hit the button, that would be lovely. Hi, Package Managers team. It's August 6th and it's a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday and it's sprint planning. And Molly, what do you usually call the public calls? Package Managers Weekly. <laughs> okay, fair. I'll get this together for next week, don't worry. The, uh, so this recording is the first inaugural uh, combination um, package manager task force sprint planning along with um, the usual weekly that we were having after so that hopefully all the information comes together into one place and everybody gets it more efficiently. And we have a little bit, you know, half hour less meetings every week, which is great. Um, we already talked about how uh, Andrew is going to move to the back to the original um, package manager's proof of concept research role that he had filled last quarter um, to discover amazing new things about how um, distributed systems might work better with or might help package managers do their job more efficiently, effectively, and happier, maybe. Um, and Stephen and Molly then will be um, spending more time in this in our group uh, helping DRI, helping lead um, lead the work otherwise so that Andrew has time to go back and do the work he loves most. Uh, somebody say anything if that was not a good summary of what happened in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, we'll also, I'm sure, iterate a little bit on the process for this now that these are combined. Molly suggested that we get a note stock together or some sort of agenda so people who drop in on the call will know what's going on or what to expect um, and then maybe know if they should drop in on the call at all. So we'll see about that for next week. Um, in the meantime, stick with what we have been doing, which we needed to change a little bit anyways, but we'll take a peek, which was um, looking at our Zen Hub board, which is sort of has most of the stuff that people are working on, except Zen Hub Strange. So we'll see how it's going. Um, check in the review. So I want to check in the review QA column first and go down those and just see where we're standing, if any of that needs to be reviewed, uh, or if something can be finished off and moved to done. Um, I know the package manager Q3 OKRs are not done because that's on me to work with Molly and other people this week to uh, take a look and finish out whatever needs to be finished out because I think um, we left those maybe not completely done. Um, Andrew, is that your understanding also? I think that's where we left it. Yeah, okay. So I'm not gonna even open that one because we know it's not done. Um, let's see, what was number 75? Oh, come on, load. It'd be great if this would load. Oh, yes. Was this one where we're like, oh, we have to figure out where to put this? Or we just leave it open forever? Do you remember, Andrew? So that one is getting, it's basically oh, yeah. going yeah. to be merged into, uh, I forget the number, a different number, yes. 78. There you go. You've already left a comment. Set that. Okay. Oh, Zen Hub. Oh, well. Oh, here we go. No, 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 stop it. That's just me. Okay, lovely. Um, let's see. Got it. And this one is on me to review before it closes, is it? In progress before uh, it's not quite ready to be reviewed. Okay. Well, we can work on that together. Thank you. And for anyone listening on the call, I was I've basically been out for too long. So I'll get my brain back and close some of these this week. Let's see. Uh, this one, number 79, I think is related to that 75 as well. And so let's see, I think 76 also. Or is this, no, this is. Um, 76 is one my has been working on. Um, I believe. He basically opened separate issues that you can probably close that one out. Okay. Let's see, presenting on Friday. Did not link back. But there is a new Molly issue. might know. Hmm? Hi. Um, so Michael did his report and that's um, up and available. And so there is a recording from it, but I didn't see any additional issues created out of that work and so I think it might be worth 84 is the uh, 
the result of the like his wow. research that fixes okay. or at least closes uh, the previous one. Okay, lovely. Um, I would also like to so. Where's the recording link from, Molly? Or anyone, if you're talking, I can't hear you. I do not know where the recording is for that. Okay. I did not record it. I will find it and send you a link. Thank you. Oh, it does. I'm happy to do this. Closed. Ah, sorry, y'all. OK. I'm OK. So slow. After that link is there, that one can be closed. Yay. OK. Then the in progress. Anyone want to volunteer to give an update on their issues? Uh, I guess I guess I'll go, because I'm at the top of the thing. Thank you. Um, cool. So this first one, I don't know if it was really me as the assignee anyway, as much as I wrote it up. Um, this should probably go to the backlog because this is, or, or it's, I guess, ongoing based on the work that Tomic is doing on Mount, right? We have sort of two options here, which were have like our own rsync -y thing and then use a file system. Um, so this is sort of, I guess, ongoing, but really tied to the work Dominic is doing on Mount um, in terms of what's actually happening. Got it. Dominic, what do you think? Um, so I guess jumping ahead here to kind of where I'm at, uh, the current plan for that kind of stuff is to basically get out an experimental read-only version and get that merged into GoIPFS somewhere. Um, and then basically to get us up to speed to where we would need, or what we would need to be able to do our sync stuff would basically be write support in a not super complicated way, but not in a trivial way either. So that will probably come later. So yeah, I would agree that it's like in progress or ongoing, not necessarily backlog, but not anytime soon. Um, would you mind after this call or during, if you have a second to write an update on that issue with what's going on? For sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, and then my, my next issue is also large and ongoing and links to more issues that are large and ongoing. <laughs> yeah, this um, is the epic. Which is yeah. only sort of helpful because you don't have all of the GodPFS things in and all of the P2P in here, which is fine. Um, there's a few PRs ongoing. Uh, I had I felt some, some good progress last week. I think, Stephen, you can give me the, the thumbs up if I'm right. I think we're really close to closing one of them, like this close. Um, and had a meeting today about just making sure that we're doing the right thing for one of the other ones. And since we are, that should also be, that's also sort of smooth sailing. Uh, and then we'll move on to the third PR. And that will probably not be, maybe we'll get to it this week. We'll see if we're lucky. Lucky, lucky. Are these all the links? Um, these PRs, all these links up here? Yeah, I mean, the, the most, it, yeah, the most important one that I'm working on is the first one, which Got links it. to more PRs. Um, <laughs> the, the, sec, the second one is, is sort of back burner for now. Um, basically, Dominic's got other priorities, and Hugo is going to keep working on uh, his stuff, but He's on and under pressure. I mean, we haven't put him under any pressure to do specs work for Dominic because mm -hmm. Mount is more important. Um, and then once, ah. either in, in, and maybe a little bit in parallel, but mostly once I'm done with this first thing, I'm going to move on to the set of features that are down below. Got it. And so I suppose in general, the blockers are going to work. Like. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like getting things done, like just more coding and more reviews. Yeah. Um, 
which, yeah, Stephen has been very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> is it good, Stephen, from your side, is that looking good? Or do you need anything different? Yes. Or nope, that was looking good. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And while we're here, no, 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 stop it. Ah, yeah, that's right, that's why I didn't do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Stop back. So I remember because my brain does not remember things. You gotta hit update. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even for this too. Okay, thank you. The title is what um, confuses me. Let's see, anything else on here, Dean? For you? While we're here? Or anything that should be in progress or represented there that isn't? No, there's other stuff. I don't know if it really belongs here. Yeah, that, that covers most of it. What's the other stuff for fun? I don't know, just like, I, I don't know, I, I spent some time like just looking at and popping in when libp2p has ah, yeah. DHT things, but like that's not really us. As yeah, much yeah. As stuff that's I'm doing. Nice. Cool. Well, we'll see. Um, that's right, we talked about at Retro last Friday making sure that we're all, we all think we're doing the most important things that we should be doing. So we'll keep an eye on that too. If I, you feel like you're being pulled in 50 different directions and need more like, no, really drop that other stuff and do this stuff over here. Um, we can talk about that. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see, who's up next? I think that's me. <clears throat> oh, my voice has gone all of a sudden. Uh, so yeah, so as usual, this uh, ties into the epic underneath it. Um, basically, not too much to report here. Progress is steady going. Um, I've been posting basically like weekly updates in here when I remember to. Um, Thank you. And then, yeah, it's just uh, at the moment, I, I mentioned it earlier that we're just trying to get this um, like file system exposed on the daemon in a read-only mode that we can extend gradually. Um, so that we can work towards features like one for our sync and, and other things that come up as we need them. And um, just, I guess I should mention, uh, there was a small setback this week just because um, we were targeting one library. We wanted to target one library, but it didn't basically exist. Um, and then it popped into existence last week. And basically we're like, okay, let's start over while we still can, because this seems like less work in the long term. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Lovely. And this is the related epic on that one. Lovely. Anything else on the other stuff on this that we should know about? Uh, you want to tell us? Nothing, nothing too deep. Just that, um, <laughs> like basically the, the, this is some kind of like idealistic thing. Um, mm -hmm closer to reality is, is basically this protocol that already exists that we're using, which is um, 9P2000, specifically the L variant now. Um, mm -hmm. You know, make with that information what you will. <laughs> okay, I have to catch up on so many things. Cool. Anything else, Dominic? I don't think so. Things are going okay. all right. Cool. And any questions for anyone else for Don? Especially, well, you've been talking to Stephen elsewhere, but Molly, if you have anything, or Stephen, of course. But. I should um, I should mention, I guess, jumping back to what Adeen said about some of the DNS stuff and all the spec work and, and anything else. Um, my work like motive at the moment is um, just to kind of race to idle. So just take this one task and get it done. Uh, if something does seem important, please do let me know and I'll be prioritized. Is our priority ordering like Unix read, Unix write, Windows read, or is oh. it Unix read, Windows read, Unix write? Uh, at the moment, it's basically going to be IPFS read over 9P. And then on the client side, it'll be translating that from 9P to Fuse. Does that make sense? And then we'll do write probably after, after read. No, I, I thought I saw some issue about the stuff being more annoying with Windows or the night. I mean, I guess always, but. So that got handled yesterday, but I didn't write about it. Um, 
basically there was an issue where um, the the transport between the the client and the server didn't function properly on Windows. Uh, that has since been resolved. So now we have transport on that, and things should go as originally expected. Is that experiment you just described written in one of these issues somewhere as an update? Uh, no. So I'm halfway through something. I, I, that has happened. I need to validate that, and then I'll write about it when I know that it's the oh, truth. That's good. Feel free also to write, you know, this is what I'm trying to do, blah, blah, blah. I think it's going to be this. And then, you know, give us an update when you actually have the, hmm, I was ridiculous. Because, you know, as you know, it's useful also to have the, um, the track of what folks are thinking about and how they were thinking about it. And then that helps us not do the same thing later. So if it was the wrong path. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, totally. More updates are better than less updates related. I have a ridiculous car. I have a Trans Am Firebird Trans Am. More Firebirds, better than less Firebirds. You can get like everything in the world with like Firebirds on it. Just absolutely everything because clearly more is better than less. So you can think about that with GitHub updates. More Firebirds, better than less Firebirds. As I think you know, but um, I'm sure I don't do. I need to give you all more updates as well. Let's see. Um, anything else on that one? Questions, comments? So the next milestone is the first one or the second one? IPFS read over 9P or translating 9P to Fuse? You had the order right. We're going from 9P, or we're reading from IPFS, translating that to 9P. Then on the client side, we're translating from 9P to Fuse. Or in the case of Linux, we probably won't have to do anything at all. It should just work. But that remains to be seen. All right, and when are we when are we aiming for that exciting milestone? That's a good question. Um, I'd like to get read support by the end of the the week. So what that would mean is that we have some kind of program up that uh, basically either it'll be like a shell or it'll be a, a, an implementation of Fuse or something that demonstrates that you can start an IPFS node and read from it using this thing that we've made. Does that sound sensible? And I should have that probably by the end of the week. Anything else? Oh, turkeys. Let's see. I think it's us now or Andrew. Andrew, how's this one? Still in progress. I was off ill uh, towards yeah. the end of the week and have not really tackled it much, but it's the only thing on my plate at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be getting into. I, do I just keep asking you the same thing because it's all part of that other epic? I really need to get yeah. my head together. I Sorry. did try in Zen Hub to combine two things together so you don't ask me twice this time. Uh, Thank you. I expect to get my head together too this week, but thank you. Sorry. Um, let's see. Summarize currency. That I'm gonna skip that because that's the same, right? Seventy-eight. It's, it's grouped inside it. You can see ah. it's kind of inside seventy-six. Thanks, Ben. Oh, is that a Zen Hub thing? I don't know. Okay, I'll sort. I'll figure it out later. No worries. No, stop it. Stop. Stop. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Uh, anything else, Andrew? Besides your new role, you you have been knighted package manager researcher again. I'm still trying to work out what that stuff is or looks like, uh, and yeah, we'll have I'll updates in due course. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> you need a badge, but that's all. Uh, let's see. And let's see. The next report should be on bicycle races. Yeah. Hello. Um, Alex. <laughs> so I've been away, uh, so not a huge amount of update for me. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been trying to pick up the asynchronous rates of stuff um, from where I left off from before the holiday. Uh, 
uh, so yeah, a whole bunch of PRs that I have open uh, have been merged, which is great, um, which has unblocked a bunch of little P2P stuff. And so I'm, I'm continuing with that. Um, I also want to start looking into the performance of IPFS NAD uh, in Go IPFS, um, which is my you know, big important things to do. Um, so I want to start that before. Josh it's crazy how emojis change our way of communicating because I'm doing doing the like thank you emoji that's awesome uh, have you and Dirk already kind of synced up for current like brain dump of what he was able to, to parse out from that or is it the live stream is sufficient for async brainwave synchronization? Um, we haven't seen top no. Thanks. Um, I don't know. Are we still going to track bit swap improvements through here or elsewhere? Not that's not you, Alex. I was thinking of Dirk when we we're. We're getting there, or is that just going to be separate now? It should be in there. Um, oh, okay. I mean, oh, you're on the call! Yay! Hi, Dirk. <laughs> I didn't see you. Uh, this is the link to the issue. Some, yeah, I don't know why it's not showing. Oh, okay, there. I probably did something or didn't do something. You know, yeah, so just uh, yeah, Alex. Whenever you want, I'm obviously happy to uh, to go over what's going on with IPFS ad. Whenever you get up to it. Huh. Cool. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I'll fix that later after this call. Uh, let's see, Alex, any more updates on your end or we'll move on to Dirk? No, that's all for me. Cool, welcome back. And I do wanna hear stories about biking at some point, probably not on this call. Um, yay. Uh, Dirk, how are things? Besides we miss, we're missing your issue somehow. Oh, I know. It's the sneaky new thing over here that, hold on. Well, anyways, go ahead. I'll. No really. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, so um, we're working on figuring out how we can improve bit performance. So at the moment, it's a lot of just kind of like, <clears throat> firstly, I was exploring and just figuring out how it works today. Uh, so I kind of wrote up a, an issue explaining that. That's the first link there. Um, and then I suggested uh, like three different areas where we can look at improving performance. And I'm kind of going back and forth, mostly with Stephen, who's been very responsive. And uh, Hannah's also put in some comments in there as well. So I guess uh, this week, I'm going to continue kind of iterating on, on the ideas there. And then I'm also going to try to get the test harnesses in a state where I, I feel uh, feel confident about making changes and, and measuring that they're actually having the right impact. So. There's already some good test harnesses there, some benchmarking stuff, and I just want to kind of clean it up a little bit and, and alter it for our specific use cases. Sounds lovely. Questions for Dirk? Also, thank you, Dean, for finding that issue and moving it. All good then. At least for now. Let's see. Okay. Um, anything else that you all want to talk about, or any questions for anybody? Any comments on your like breakfast for the week? Whatever. We have time now because we made it through our plans for the week. <laughs> Thank you. Or anyone else who's on the call who, um, you know, obviously. I'm, if uh, I can't see, but if Jim, you're still on the call, obviously you don't have issues here. You just, I think, want to hear what's going on. But if you have any questions for the team or anyone else, feel free. Something that might be interesting on the, the... I don't actually see Jim anymore. I see an Alan. Oh, okay. Jim's gone. And a Michael Burns. Maybe if you oh, okay. we got our wheelie. No, we're good. We should be fine, right? I'm a little bit worried that I have like overlapping media. Just like my constant terror. No, we're good. Um, something that might be interesting for this group and might overlap with 
with Alan um, is benchmark work. Are, is there anywhere where we're like, other than the wonderful bit swap benchmark work that's happening, where we're running kind of regular um, package manager focused benchmarks to get a sense of their performance feedback loop on PRs we submit? Um, is that like a nice useful tool that, that we have configured for ourselves? Or are we kind of still in the, um, you know, design phase or, or we, we talked about having those be accessible, but I don't know what, what happened to that idea. So I believe um, that uh, the bits that were like functional enough to be worthwhile being benchmarked was the work that Dirk was doing mostly. Um, didn't turn into like a repeatable ongoing benchmark yet, but the um, the code that he wrote to be able to do those benchmarks could potentially be turned into something for the generation of particular shapes or sizes of repositories. Um, there's also like our index of the different repositories that are rather large, but I worry that that's just gonna be moving a lot of bits around without necessarily like making much difference compared to say like, oh, we're just testing, adding a thousand one megabyte files rather than like, how long does it take to add a terabyte? Uh, mostly because the infrastructure suddenly gets a little bit more difficult once you get to that kind of size. But the it felt like right now there's we're not at the point where we have the holistic full package manager path. We're working on individual pieces that make that work. So there's each one of those pieces, these benchmarks, rather than the full path of set up uh, and then actual installation via the thing that has been set up. I don't know if anyone agrees, disagrees. Uh, so in that case, like all of the existing kind of IPFS benchmarks that are benchmarking ads and gets and, and all of the awesome stuff that Alan and Jim worked on kind of spinning back up, that kind of meets the use case of, hey, I can validate that ads are getting faster, even if it's not like, package manager ads, it's like ads at a small scale. That, yeah, so the, the, as long as the, there's visibility on ads of a good number of files in a go, um, which Dirk has already documented in his issue that there's, um, I forget if it was polynomial Dirk nodding kind of, uh, yeah. polynomial slowdown as you add more files in one go, uh, that was would be good to be able to see. Like, is this improving? Um, as uh, like, so that you don't get a slowdown and more files to try to add in one go. I'm not sure if there's a benchmark for that. I think most of the benchmarks are fairly small and um, short runs right now. Maybe Molly, what you're getting at, are you trying to ask if we have the proper, if, if um, something needs to be developed or if we're good to go in terms of like, can we tell if we're improving or not um, with all of these different things we're doing? That seems like the direction you're hitting at. Yeah, it's like, do, do we have that feedback loop we talked about being really useful for us in order to evaluate that we're moving in the right direction? Um, yeah. And have we set it up such that we don't have to worry about it anymore and it's just going to keep making our lives happy and give us that information? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. On IPFS ad, I think, I don't know if that's, are we using something automated or it's just whoever, oh, Alan also has a note. Uh, okay. So I, I think this will become more <laughs> visible to people, but um, after the meeting later today, but the benchmarks that IPFS team is in the process of being revived, there are tests there which do things like adding a small, uh, you know, 1K file, a 4 megabyte file, a 64 megabyte file, and there's a um, test there for adding 100 1K megabyte files to IPFS. Um, and so that information can be graphed over time. And that is currently happening every night for JS IPFS, and it will shortly be, will soon be being also done for Go IPFS. Um, 
there's also other tests for um, adding files and which will be relevant for package managers is like adding files, but also then having them replicated to other nodes. Um, and honestly, the, the, um, the whole idea here is that we've got this uh, benchmarks framework uh, in place. It's been around for a while and any tests that you want to see in, um, for, that, are, that are relevant for package managers um, just need to be written or uh, suggested in an issue on the repo um, and then we can get that done and get that added at the moment the files that are, are being added are generated and they're just random bytes um, we can generate you know we could have it generate you know a whole a whole load more files or bigger files whatever you need um, the possibility is there it just isn't written yet so in the benchmarks call uh, I want to say a couple of weeks ago um, I think I reported back that we were basically in a place where we would wait until there was uh, the infrastructure in place before putting any effort into um, to push those benchmarks because there's already a good number they're just not being tested against go IPFS yet um, and hopefully we'll be able to see the same kind of improvements that add performance gains with the existing benchmarks um, without necessarily adding uh, any more benchmarks but it'd be interesting to see that as well just we don't have like it's not quite ready to go yet yeah, yeah. i think our use case is, is also very specific so i'm not entirely sure if it's going to fit into the benchmarking framework so for example um one thing we found one thing andrew noticed was that when you're using an external hard drive the, we don't see the same kind of improvement gain. So we we can probably use a lot of the IPFS benchmarks and then we might need to write a few of our own that are, that are extremely specific for those kind of use cases. Uh, so we can actually deal with that using IPFS benchmarks. Uh, Go IPFS has a delay store, a uh, data store, um, and we can literally just insert arbitrary latencies. Uh, and we could even add a like a bandwidth thing or a throughput thing. So like you can just like spin up an IPFS node and say, okay, like I want this to have this latency that's throughput and then benchmark that and see where the, the bottlenecks are. Okay, great. That should, that should help a lot. I, th I think the, um, I think it's a good idea to, for these to not exist yet. I like that. That's fine. Cause we are just getting this up and running. Anything that you think might not fit in the benchmarks tool, then like at least open an issue and let's talk about it. Um, rather than just discount it, um, straight away. Um, because there may well be ways of doing the stuff we 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 control everything that gets set up like the the there are tests there which swap out different um different muxes in js ipfs and um and you enable or dis disable like um sec io and, and stuff like that for tests so we can swap out anything if we need a data store that is that you know has some kind of um delay or or kind of uh, bandwidth limitation to it, then we could create one for the purpose of the test. Um, uh, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to sound dismissive. Uh, I'm saying um, we, we may have like very specific requirements for package managers, but we can definitely, uh, you know, definitely first try to try to get them into the benchmarking framework and then if we need to, we can do custom stuff. Dean, you had your hand, yeah? Yeah, I'm wondering, um, you have any thoughts on how the uh, the benchmarking framework would deal with like, I want to run rsync on top of fuse kind of things. Like, is that, does that fit reasonably into how things are set up or is that like totally on a different path? Uh, I would see that answer that I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly uh, what would be required for that. I think we need to look into it. Um, yeah. So I, ideally, we'd be able to just run an arbitrary bash script uh, and just like launch that with the a test runner. I think we should be able to set that up as just a potentially, thing. yeah. Um, yeah, and then you just be able to drop bash scripts into the folder, and then one of the tests would sort of like just like farm out to the bash scripts. We could even have the JavaScript tests run Charnas, <laughs> and then once the Charnas test the Charnas test we go and actually like do the few stuff. The problem with Fuse is it tends to like lock up kernels and do nasty things to the entire system. Um, 
So we have to be very careful to make sure that we don't hose the entire machine, uh, but we can probably do it. Yeah, we yeah. get a bare metal machine and we run a JavaScript script on it. We can spawn other processes. We can make things happen and collect the results in any any means we like. It's just doing the work to make that happen. Yeah, that felt to me like the the most like probably like one of the larger outliers we'll have. So just wanted to like push that out there. Just to be clear, you're you're saying about running benchmarks on top of views, is that right? Yeah, right. So like one of our our options is like, well, we can either, you know, if ad, if ad performance is is difficult and you know doing it sort of in one way, we can maybe be able to like sort of go like this and do it through views, and it turns out that it ends up being faster. Yeah, that's totally useful, even if if it's the other direction and we just measure like the latency or like the overhead from doing the fuse or like the 9P stuff. Luckily though, since it's just like standard file system APIs, we should be able to drop tools into it and they should just work. It's not drop to you now. Yeah, and there's also like all, whole suites of like other people's tests that they've written for file systems that we can just be like, run those ones. Uh, I got a little cute with it before and put the tools in IPFS. So then when you'd run the test suite, you would just go to the folder and run them off of the thing. I like it. Dog food the hell out of it. That sounds lovely. Uh, maybe silly question for me. Are there any timeline things that we need to be aware of if we want to do all the wonderful things you just mentioned? Um, I don't know if somebody needs to be aware of something or Alan, I don't know how far along you are in your stuff and when like Adine and Dominic you're thinking about or we'll need to be able to get feedback on that sort of stuff. Uh, I, I can speak to that a little bit. The, so I wanted to get around to um, reviewing and merging the pull request that Jim has in, in flight for the um, benchmarks tool um, today, but I didn't because getting the JS IPFS 037 release kind of got in the way. Um, there is a, but ho I'm hoping to get it done this week. Um, so that will that will be good. It will take us to a point where it, the, the tool is actually useful for Go IPFS, um, and then then we can maybe start writing tests that are specific to package managers. Um, there is a call later today. I think it's on the community calendar for um, for, for testing, where I think Jim is going to um, demo demo the the Grafana boards and the work he's been doing. Um, and it will make way more sense if you come to that and uh, uh, and have a look at it. Um, uh, so you know, so yeah, if you'd like, if you want to come and just kind of sit in the background and watch, then that is cool, I think. Um, uh, but yeah, I, we might record it as well. So, uh, but yeah, I, I, in terms of other timelines, I can't speak much more on that. Okay, so all of our team, keep that in mind and reach out. Let's see, we've got seven minutes before some of us need to be on another call. Um, Stephen, was that a hand or a wave? I think that was a wave. <laughs> cool. Um, lovely. Any other questions, concerns, stuff? Um, Andrew, do you have like, you may be just getting back into things, but do you have any like most important blockers on being able to like prototype new things? No, I don't believe so. Uh, it's mostly a case of working out what, like, how close things should be to the current state of IPFS versus more like dream code, futuristic, like. What would this look like if IPFS could do these things? Uh, 
in the future. Um, and also kind of looking to where, how much of a human, the human parts of it are. I've been talking to Eric a little bit. Uh, Eric comes at, at the same problem from completely the opposite direction. So it's interesting to try and align his thinking with mine, but from like opposite sides of a field and try and hit the same target in the middle of it. Uh, but there's no blockers. I need to basically just pour my brain out into some docs, I think, and pick up and remember everything that I was looking at from before camp, because that basically knocked everything out. What else? Anything else? Oh, did we send a IRC message? I know I put together a few things that we could send. I uh, fell off the bandwagon yesterday. Okay, we all did. Uh, yeah. Bandwagon is a dot to us. <laughs> we'll catch up yeah. with it eventually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Today, we'll have a look yeah. at that doc and see what's cool. In. And we have some updates, some ideas for updates on it too, to make it a little bit more useful for um, Molly and other folks. Molly's not the only one, I'm sure. It was like, what the? <laughs> well, I, um, I took notes, or I tried to, in between getting distracted by other things. Um, my headphones are doing a weird thing today. Um, but if folks, I just took notes on the package manager meeting issue. It has lots of emojis because that's easier to do when typing into this than to typing into Google Docs because Google Docs sometimes blocks me from using emojis. Um, so folks want to take a look at those or if you want to copy them to wherever you want to take notes from in the future, that's fun. But once we end the meeting, I'll stick the recording there too. Sounds good. See y'all. Be free. Whenever I see this, I think of like the like wipe on, wipe off. Did anyone else? That was like totally a thing in the early 90s. There was like a whole dance move that was like this. No? All right. That's like just me. Michael Burns knows it. He's demonstrating. You're hip, Molly. I'm with you. <laughs> something something about like um there was like a really old I don't know, it was not a Disney movie. It was not good enough to be a Disney movie, but there was something about like sharks and under the sea and a car wash. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's a Will Smith movie, Shark Tales. Shark Tales, yeah, that sounds all right. Sounds like it was Karate Kid. I don't think it was that, it's not that cool. That's too cool. Have you got more Bluetooth devices connected to your computer today? Because it seems like your Bluetooth headphones and microphone are fussing with each other. You sound like a robot. Do I sound like a robot? You sound like a robot. No. I think it's probably out of battery. Are you guys using the same headphones? Alan is correct. There is the wipe on, wipe off thing from Karate Kid, just say. Yeah, that's that's not shock to him. Well, it might also be there, I don't know. Also, I moved my Wi-Fi router and things seem slightly better. Uh, oh yeah? I don't know if anyone noticed, but um, I, I guess you didn't drop today, yeah. yeah. Are you Maybe. at the point where you're putting- Outside of the microwave, microwave. that was a good choice. Well, like, just trying to put it in the center of the house rather than at the edge of the house. I do have a big cable running through the middle of my kitchen and hallway though right now. It's not ideal, but if the Wi-Fi works, then that's okay. Excuse me. I have a similar problem in other parts of the house, but my router's right there. <laughs> mine, Wi-Fi mine.
No one else is, just mine. All right, go away, y'all. End of the meeting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>